control is found on fully parametric EQs on some analog mixers and most digital ones. The Q, or quality, control represents the width of the frequency range that an EQ is going to affect. This is actually a ratio that is the center frequency chosen with the frequency control divided by the range of frequencies affected, or the bandwidth. So, a center frequency of 500 hertz that only affects a bandwidth that's 50 hertz wide would be a Q of 500 divided by 50, or 10.0. So if you set the Q control to 10.0, you will affect a very narrow range of frequencies, only 50 hertz wide. And you'd probably only use it to correct a severe problem, like feedback. If you have a center frequency of 5,000 hertz, and the bandwidth was 10,000 hertz, that would be a Q of 0.5, or 5,000 divided by 10,000. So a Q of 0.5 is a really wide range, and probably wouldn't be very useful, as it would affect frequencies from zero to 10,000 hertz all at once. But generally, larger bandwidths, or smaller Q numbers, sound better. I think the Goldilocks of Qs is around 1.5, which affects roughly a one octave range centered on the chosen frequency. And the reasonable range of Qs is between 1.0 and 4.0. If the Q is much less than one, you start affecting a huge range of frequencies. If it's any larger than four, and you're starting to perform surgery on a very narrow frequency range. So I would suggest setting your Q control to 1.5 as a good starting point until you really understand what you're doing. In fact, semi-parametric EQs, like you'd find on a typical analog mixer, don't have a Q control. The Q is preset, and they generally have their Qs around 1.5. Better analog mixers and most digital ones give you this powerful control in your EQs. Make sure you learn what you're doing before you start making any crazy cues. I'm Greg Hill for AV Genius.